Hey, just a quick one today. Wanted to give a rundown about what we've been doing on our roadside here with a polyculture paddock trial. Uh, obviously, this is just like a span of uh, grass that's like unmanaged and, and historically completely unmaintained. Uh, so all we did here was mulch. It was like really long and sort of undulating uh, grass. So we brought the mulcher in, leveled it, gave it a spray out. And then in November, we sowed it with the multitudinous mix, which had a whole bunch of wildflowers and pollinator blends and, uh, and a few different edible herbs as well. So it's been a, a riot of color in here all summer, basically from uh, January until now, which is uh, late March. Uh, we've just had our first frost, which kicked me into gear to remind me that I wanted to do this video. So we've lost a few of the flowers, but yeah, we've had zinnias and uh, cosmos and, and poppies. And uh, right now there's still corn flowers and some of the hardier flowers have, have survived these frosts. But it's just something that it really was pretty quick uh, to, to implement this. And this whole stretch of roadside has been like a bit of a haven for insect life. And that's sort of what we do it. For one, it looks really beautiful. And we've got this just as uh, some way of sort of drawing attention to what we're doing here and, uh, you know, beautifying the roadsides. But it's also just creating uh, some, some pollen and, and nectar for the insect life that we so desperately need to provide food for. So that's what we've been up to. Really simple. Uh, it was pretty, um, and encouraging. I received a call a couple of days ago from Rob Scott, the Southland District Mayor. Uh, he'd been at Future Fenua Summit and we always sort of like gave a quick rundown about uh, what we were doing and told people to keep an eye on it as we drove past as part of the farm tour. And Rob called me the other day saying, hey, what are you doing on the roadside? Uh, we've got this sort of client who's a, a organic beekeeper and uh, the council was sort of worried about like how, how do they manage the roadsides around something like that. So they want to trial this method and it would be something that would be really cool if councils around uh, the nation or the world um, got on board with uh, just a management like this because really easy only only once per year I think this would need done and maybe never again maybe this stuff will keep coming who knows. Uh, as the season's gone on, the grass has sort of returned and some of these yarrow that are like pretty hearty and already in the soil have returned. But, uh, but yeah, just throughout the season there has been a lot of life. And there's, there's some food stuff as well in here. We've got this sorrel, which is like a really beautiful leaf. It tastes like uh, sort of like green apples. It's pretty nice. Um, we've got coriander and fennel here that's like gone to seed and I can still harvest this and um, we could crush these seeds up and make a seasoning. Um, if we so wanted, but mostly it's just been about sort of beautifying the roadside and providing some habitat for the for the fantastic insects. So that's what we've been up to. It's another way that we can implement the polyculture method and uh, I'd like to see more of this around roadsides where I'm traveling. Ciao!